Hi developers, welcome back to Course Step by Step. My name is Anil, and uh, this is the thirteenth part for React, Redux, and Saga tutorial series. And in this part, we will learn that how we can call API with Saga and set this result to the React JS component also. So first of all, we will go through with these points. Then I will show you that how actually data will flow with the help of diagram, and then we will jump on the code. In last two videos, uh, we just uh, configure the Redux and create a fake API with the help of JSON server so that we can use that API in our project. So let me show you once. So if you remember that in second last part, uh, if you did not watch our previous uh, videos for that playlist, then uh, I will recommend you that you have to watch this video. Otherwise, uh, maybe you will miss lots of things if you are directly jumping on that part. So let me show you what we did in last part. So we created a product saga.js file, and here we will write our all API code and all. And uh, after that, we will register this uh, product.saga inside the store with the help of saga middleware. Uh, all right. So now what we have to do? First of all, we will uh, uh, call the saga from action. Then we will call this uh, API inside that saga file. And then we will send this saga result to the reducer, and uh, after that we can able to get this uh, uh, product uh, API data inside the React JS component. All right. So now let's take a look on the flow of this data with the help of diagram. So you can see that this is a basic Redux uh, structure. So we have this view part. So uh, if we are not using uh, saga then uh, we have to just call this action from any uh, one component so let's say, let's say we are calling the action from component one and uh, after that uh, the data will be go to the reducer and store and uh, store can send this data to the any component like component two component three or component four even component one also right so let's say we are we want to call a api so we cannot directly call this api inside the action so for that we need a uh, saga file also right and first of all we will just call this saga file from action and here we will call api and then result will be directly placed inside the reducer so now you may ask that why we need uh, this saga file why we cannot call api even i already given the answer in uh, lots of previous video the reason is directly action cannot handle the async operations like api is a async operation because because it will fetch data from the back end and uh, then it will process the data so it could be take some time that's why they are async process so actions cannot directly handle this uh, async data but saga can easily handle this data and it can just put it in the uh, reducer also then this data will be flow with the store and we can get it in the any component like component 2 3 or 4 we will get this data inside our main component right so now let's uh, get back to the code and uh, let's understand it so i am just going to close this uh, whiteboard we don't need it anymore and uh, let's back to the code first and uh, now the first thing is that how we can call this saga from action so do we have to import this saga file somewhere then we have to call it not actually we will call this with the help of we will call this saga with the help of this type right even you remember that uh, with the help of this type we call the reducer also so let's say we have this product list uh, type we are just uh, uh, executing this action then uh, directly it will just find that where is this action placed inside the uh, reducer and it will find a case then that will execute that one also right with the same way when we whenever we will file this fire this uh, a uh, type product list it will just find out inside the saga also if it will find that uh, case that it will execute otherwise it will directly uh, jump on the reducer right so here uh, what first of all we have to import the uh, one action which is take every so let me import it Imp I, i will tell you what is that but uh, first of all let's import me first import something from Redux, Redux Saga, and uh, effects, and let me take this uh, take every out from there. What actually it will do? It will just call the any 
a saga function whenever uh, they will just get any type so let's say we get a type uh, with the name of product list now uh, take every will just find this okay okay that i get the, uh, i get a call and the call call name is uh, product list and i have to call that function now so we will use this take every function and uh, keep in mind whenever we are using a uh, generator function we have to put here yield and uh, now what we can do here mm, we can put our action name like what action we want to call so our action name is uh, product list and what function we want to call on there so first of all we have to make that function right so i am just making a function and that function name let's say get products and uh, after that we can call it from a second parameter so that will be like say get product and don't call it just uh, just uh, define just uh, you can say that uh, uh, mention this your function name don't call it call it like this brackets right all right so after that what we have to do here we can write any code code inside the get product so for a moment let me just try with the console dot one and uh, let me just put here get product saga called now let's get back here and uh, let's see are we able to this uh, call this saga or not but first of all we have to just remove or comment out this code because that is the api call otherwise it will just uh, give uh, any error there so let me call here apple for a moment and whenever i will just calling this uh, okay one more thing i forget to remove it which is a sync function so let me just click over that cal call product list now you can see that get product saga called so that means our saga file is called that is fine so what is the next step now so we want we have to call our api here and then we have to send this data directly to the reducer so let's just uh, copy this code from there we don't need this code inside the action so i am just uh, removing from there and putting directly uh, there so now uh, first thing is that we don't need await keyword here second thing is that uh, this api uh, was the dummy api we just we took from the internet but uh, now we can replace it with the our api like this and uh, i these uh, make these api in last videos with the help of json Uh, server if you did not watch this video then you have to watch if you are not aware about the json server link is given in the description box for complete playlist all right so now we don't need this again this await from there and now let's check that are we able to call this uh, console or not and let's see what we are getting there if i just click on the call product okay so again we got a error because uh, we have to put here at least a yield so to call api we remove the async await uh, system from here but we must have to use here yield so let me put here yield to handle this async data and now i guess it should work so if i'm calling on there you can see that action is called from our file and uh, there is a four data you can see that and these four data same are present uh, in our api also great so now how we can send this data back to the our reducer so all right so first of all we need a, a action constant so i am just setting here one more constant here set product list and to call directly action from the saga file we need here a put function so i'm just calling here put function from there and now let's use here shield 
put and it take a object we can define here type and we will use here set product type and the second thing is we want to send here data all right so now let's see are we able to just uh, send this data there but one more thing to just uh, call this action uh, this type we have to uh, just define it inside the reducer also so let me just copy this uh, product list from there and place it there like set product list and one more thing we don't need this product list case here reason is because with the help of this product list uh, earlier I just want to show you the case but now we don't need is as we just call uh, the saga with the help of this product list even we don't need this data also so I'm just removing this data from there and uh, removing this uh, case from there also and uh, we have to import it also right so let me just import it set product list and uh, we want to just destruct our array inside the return and now let's get back here and let's see are we able to get this data here so in a main dot uh, main dot js file we have a console with the name of data in main component and let's see what we are getting here by default this is blank so whenever just i click on the call product list you can see that this is called again and we have the four data inside it so that's all for this part and uh, in upcoming part what we will do we will just uh, uh, plot this data on ui and uh, we will just show here four products and after that on the click on this product we can just uh, add to cart and we can do more things also and after that we will make search functionality and you don't need to worry about the code the code is given in the description box because uh, link is given in the description box for that code because this code is available on my github account so thank you so much for watching this video and please uh, keep supporting me like this video subscribe my channel and uh, please provide your valuable feedbacks in comment box also thank you so much